If you guys watch any ESPN, and, and I hope that you do, you might be aware that the Jets and the Cowboys are still in the league. Um, <laughs> Joe, Joe what, what are the storylines <laughs> heading into the season that you are sick of? Uh, with regard to the Jets and the Cowboys? No, just period. You can, you can choose your own. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> I, I, let's, let's go with the Jets and the Cowboys. I mean, right out of the gate, we've got Aaron Rodgers. At, clearly, nobody at the NFL is superstitious because everybody's got this big bet on Aaron Rodgers and the Jets being compelling uh, in 2024 like everybody was betting in 2023 that they would be compelling, and uh, they weren't because four plays in, uh, the whole thing went to hell. So I, I now here we are doing it again, and they're opening on the road in San Francisco. But I, that's a team not – you always talk about a team that's built to win now. That's a team that's built to win right now. Have they made their offensive line better? Absolutely. But they brought in some aging tackles and guys that have had some injury trouble in the past. But it all hinges around the quarterback. I don't care what any of us say about any of these teams. Talk about Houston. We didn't talk about Houston. C.J. Stroud who has everything you want as a leader. Um, he's got the intangibles. He works his tail off. Now they've added Stefan Diggs for him on the outside. They're healthier with Tank Dell coming back. They're really well coached. One of the big offseason wins for any team was D'Amico Ryans being able to keep Bobby Slowick to run that offense and, and to have continuity for C.J. Stroud. I think that's another team that deserves some attention going into this season. But I'm anxious to see, A, to talk about those two teams, what kind of a year Aaron Rodgers puts together because he is compelled and I think driven to prove to everybody that he still has it. And B, where do the Dallas Cowboys go from this moment forward? They signed C.D. Lamb, but they still have Parsons. And oh, by the way, they still have Dak Prescott. They have not made those deals happen. The price for Dak Prescott keeps going up seemingly by the minute. So they, it was a weird offseason for the Dallas Cowboys, and now they just lost to Ron Bland, uh, a really underrated corner uh, for the first couple of months of the season with a foot injury. So there's a lot to talk about, obviously, going into this season, but I'm, I'm excited to see where the path leads for both the Jets and the Cowboys. The NFL is such a national league that even though the Jets and Rodgers, because of the New York market, and Dallas, because of their national presence, and just look at any of our ratings when the Cowboys are on, those teams over-index in terms of the conversation of what's happening with those teams relative to how good they are within the league. So they get overexposed for a variety of reasons. Joe just hit it when he was talking about Houston, and I can't wait to get there in week two when they play Chicago, because the Bears folks think they have something going. So there are a lot of great stories in the league, and I think unlike the other sports, Football has that national appeal that every team can become the flavor of the month just like that, like Detroit did last year, and Houston could very well be that group this year.